Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And today I want to show you how to create your own cover image in the form of a collage. Now a collage, of course, means many, many pictures. So I'm gonna show you a couple of easy ways to do it. But first I need to show you what tools we're going to need. You're going to need to make sure that you open PicMonkey.com because I'm going to teach you how to build a collage through PicMonkey. The next thing is you need to find a way that you are able to copy and paste um, and edit other cover images and thumbnails. Now your thumbnail is your edit profile picture right here and this of course is your cover image. So you're going to need to have a way to copy those images. Now everyone's computer along the top board has the F12 key. Next to it is the print screen and it's PRT SC and that stands for print screen so if you click on it there you go you see it brings up a way to copy the image I'd also like to show you that I'm gonna just close out of there um, I also use something known as snag it so over here on the left hand side is a camera it appears on my desktop I paid $29 for it through TechSmith T-E-C-H Smith, S-M-I-T-H, and if I just click on it, it too goes ahead and takes a picture of my screen. And the thing I like about TechSmith is that if I click on image, I just go ahead and say what part of the image I want, and then I crop it, and I can use draw to put arrows on it and uh, to point out specific things on the picture that I want to pick out plus change the colors. So we're not really learning about photo editing um, sites today, but I also want to tell the people that have Windows 8, your Windows 8 comes with a brand new feature and it's called the snipping tool. So if you just go to the right hand side of your computer and you pull out your search and just write in there snipping and look what happens, it pops up and you can ask to put this on your desktop so whenever you want to capture a picture you go ahead and click on it as you can see it's down here on my desktop and then it is going to ask you what you want to do you want to take a new picture and then your screen's going to go blank and what you do is you just click over what you want and you notice it will come up and then it goes ahead and has it here and you want to save it in whatever picture file you want to save it in, you name it, and then you save it. So that was really quick and I apologize for that, but those are three photo editing choices that you can either buy, you have on Windows 8, or you have on your computer already on your top number keys uh, print screen. Now let's go ahead and learn how to create this beautiful collage where you can thank all the people and business pages that spend a lot of time on your business page. It's just a really nice thing to do. The first thing you want to do is go into your search bar and you want to find um, a business page that you're following. And for example, for mine, I'm going to go to level 10 Euro Spa. There it is there. You click on it. It takes you over to their business page and all you have to do is click your snipping tool, click new and then go ahead and pull out what you want and that's the piece that I want right there. I want their name and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save the file in my picture file which I actually called collage fan page and then I just say name the picture and I'm going to name it and I save it. It tells me I already have that one because I do. Um, so and you just go keep snipping and looking for pages that you um, want to save. Oop. And you go to their business page and once again you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take the picture of their screen. You're going to pick out which area you want and then you're going to go ahead and save it and that's how simple it is. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up PicMonkey. From PicMonkey, what we want to do is we actually want to design. We don't want to go to the collage. If we want to go to a collage, we could click this one. But I want to design a Facebook cover image. So I click on that one. Now the first thing I can decide is if I want to turn the background into any other color. And all I have to do is pick the color that I want. And then the next thing that you want to do is you want to apply the color. So you click apply and now the background will remain that color. You notice it's the perfect cover image size. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go down to the butterfly. The butterfly is the overlays on PicMonkey. Go ahead and click overlays. Now what you do is go up and you say, I want to choose my own, your own. And then you'll have to go into your picture files and you'll have to go ahead and choose all the ones that you want. They come on kind of small. You stretch them bigger if you want. You move them over quite easily to where you want them. You go back and you pick your next cover image and you open it and you just keep doing, you can move this a little overlay over so it's out of your way and you just keep stretching them whoops, to make them bigger, right? Whatever works. And you just repeat the process over and over until you have all of the uh, pictures that you want to use on your screen. Whoop. And then the next thing you can do with all these pictures once they're on here is you can go ahead and on mine I said thank you. So you would go to the T for text, TT stands for text. You go ahead and you're going to click add text. You move the box that lands on your screen to wherever you want it. You click inside the box and you write what you want to write. And then you probably want to highlight it and turn it white because it prints black and if you've got a black background, it'll show up black, right? So you've got to make sure that you... Oops. Sorry, you got to... Highlight everything, and as you can see, this one I want to show you, it didn't work. There you go. You might want to make the text a little bit bigger. You can do it by going sliding this across, or you can go ahead and click here and choose the size that you want. If you don't want it to be underneath each other, just click on the box and stretch it along. You can move it to center. You can change the writing for that thank you to anything you want. And so using PicMonkey is really user friendly. It takes a little bit of time. I just didn't automatically jump on this and figure it out. The last thing I want to tell you is let's go ahead and brand all the pictures that we do by putting your name in the lower corner. I like to write it usually in about 12 font. I like to use the same font that I use for the writing on the page, so I'd go to chunk five. And so now you just put it very lightly in the bottom. If you think that's a little bit big, you can make it just a little bit smaller because we don't want to be in people's face. We just want to brand everything that we do. So this is how you can create a thank you collage image using free photo editing through PicMonkey and of course on your own computer. This is Heather. Let's keep it simple.